Yo, what up guys, Marin here, and welcome to another episode of Fan Fridays, a series where we showcase off one of your guys' decks. So today we are checking out a sweet looking Bolasus Citadel Trash for Treasure combo deck, also known as Bolasus Trash, sent to us by Jace Parker. So thank you, Jace, for the super cool deck. I'm actually super excited to try this one out today because it looked really awesome. So if you want to submit a deck of your own as well for a future episode of Fan Fridays, you can do so by leaving your deck list in the comments down below, or emailing it to me, or DMing me on social media, wherever I can see your comment and you might just see your deck played on a future episode of Fan Fridays. And before we get started, keep in mind if you want to pick up today's deck or some amount of cards from it and also support the channel, you can get your cards from tcgplayer.com by clicking the deck list link down below. And as always, thank you very much to all my patrons. You guys are the reason this channel gets to keep on going. And if you want to support the channel as well, Patreon is the best place to do so. And with that, let's get right into the deck tech. Hope you enjoy. This video is sponsored by mtgonlinestore.com. For some cool and creative MTG apparel and accessories, everything from t-shirts to backpacks, check out mtgonlinestore.com and use promo code MARIN for 15% off your next order. And it also supports the show. Link is down below. Have you ever seen Andrea Minguchi play Legacy Experimental Frenzy? Or have you ever seen those modern KCI decks that got banned last year? Well, this is probably going to be the closest thing to those decks that's currently modern legal. So this deck is looking quite sweet and I really hope that it goes well. Starting off with the main combo of the deck, we got Bolas' Citadel, brand new out of War of the Spark. This card has proven to be really insane in Commander. It basically reads win the game most of the time. It's totally not fair. So you can pay life to play the top card of your library. Uh, you stop when you hit a land, which is why we have eggs to crack to get past lands, which we'll get to later, and it works. I've tested with it and it works. Um, so we're paying a bunch of life to just keep storming off the top of our library. And while we're storming off, we're gonna be gaining a ton of life off of the Aether Flux Reservoir and eventually dome our opponent for 50 damage. Now we're going to need a way to get these onto the battlefield. So our main way is Trash for Treasure and this is the way we're getting back Bolasa Citadel mainly and we also got Refurbish as well. They both they both basically do the same thing for this deck. So Trash for Treasure we get to sack an artifact to return an artifact from our graveyard to the battlefield so we're just going to sack a useless egg. So for three mana we get a Bolasa Citadel which is crazy but we need a way to throw it in the grave. So we do have Faithless Looting as well as Goblin and Giner. So uh, we're gonna search our library with Goblin Engineer and specifically toss Citadel into the grave. Later, we're gonna throw Aetherflux Reservoir into the grave, but we need the Citadel first. And so this is insane for this deck. This is a, a serious enabler. So thank goodness for this out of Modern Horizons. It's proven to be a very useful card across multiple archetypes. So since we're paying a bunch of life and storming off, we're gonna get pretty low. So Grishel Brand decks have Nourishing Shoal to keep going off, but we have Weather the Storm. A lot of people mean this card because it, we we're everybody was so excited that we had a storm caught in Modern Horizons, and they're like, oh well, it sucks because it's Weather the Storm. It doesn't really get you any value. But in this deck, it's super important because we're paying so much life with Citadel, and we're eventually gonna run into Weather the Storm and gain it all back and just continue to chain off and keep going off. Now we need some mana production. So we got Mox Opal as any artifact deck would usually run. And then we got the package of Lotus Bloom plus Reshape. So with Reshape, we can sack an egg or sack anything really. And that goes in tutors for a Lotus Bloom for two mana because it's a zero drop. So this also helps us just hard cast Citadel as an alternative way to get it out. As well as when we hit it off the top of the Citadel, we just find another Lotus Bloom and we just got access to a bunch of mana just in case. And finally, we're gonna need some eggs. And uh, um, these eggs with the crack and draw a card and that's very useful because when we are starting to storm off with Bolas' Citadel uh, We're eventually gonna hit lands and lands is how you stop with Citadel So we're gonna have eggs out on the battlefield and when we run into a land We're gonna crack an egg to draw past that land and just keep going off so that we do not fizzle we got a total of 16 lands, not counting the playset of Mox and also the reshaped Lotus Bloom package, but we want to keep our land count low because we don't really want to hit them off of Citadel. And onto our sideboard, it's very quite simple. We got a playset of Nihil Spellbomb for those graves, but they're also eggs of their own. And then we got a playset of Defense Grid, which is another artifact, which is nice for enabling Mox, but also it protects our combo. Our opponent cannot counter our spells if we play a Defense Grid. So we play it, pass, then go off the following turn. 
and we're gonna be not interacted with. And then we got a play set of Pyroclasm because if our opponent's playing a really go wide cheap aggro deck, we gotta have a way to survive while we build up to our refurbish or trash for treasure because sometimes we're lacking on land since we have such a low land count, so we need to survive for a bit. So we got the Pyroclasm for that. And then finally we got three copies of Welding Jar because we got to protect our Citadel if our opponent has like Ancient Grudge or Assassin's Trophy in their deck or something like that. We got to throw this thing out there before we start to combo off just in case. So that's about it. I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. Got a game here against Minion, Minion Zeus. And yes, we're going to be on the play with Bolas's Trash Cannon and I am going to keep this hand. That seems good. Shivon Reef, Dramatic Star, Suspend a Lotus Bloom, Suspend a Lotus Bloom. So now, uh, once these Lotus Blooms come off of Suspend, I win. Because I, a, a, I do have a star to crack and if I have a land on top of my deck. So this should win right when I get my Lotus Bloom off Suspend. So let's see if our opponent's on a heavily interactive deck. Oh no, it's Burn! We don't want to run into burn. We just said that. We don't want to run into burn because they're going to get our life total low and then we won't be able to pay much life with Citadel. But at least we were on the play, so please, please, opponent, don't have the most insane nut draw in the world. All right, there is a mox, so play the mox, play the glimmer void, pass. What's the win con? The win con is Aether Flux Reservoir. What's up, Tito Burrito? Welcome back to the stream. Even if we lose all the games from now, we beat Tron. Oh, dude, that's spoilers. I'm I'm probably going to forget to cut that part out of the video. I don't know if I'm going to put Tron as the first match that we play in the video. But if I didn't, then now YouTube knows. They're spoiled. <laughs> Alright, Boros Charm takes us down to... 15 and then 13. All right, opponent's getting us low. Oh, they forgot to attack. They forgot to attack. All right, how many turns we got? All right, next turn. They just, they shame scooped. They shame scooped. They accidentally, oh, uh, opponent is salty. All right, on to sideboarding. I'm not going to bring in anything. Uh, let's run it right back. Opponent's probably bringing in Smash to Smithereens, or Destructive Revelry, or Wear and Tear, but it's fine. Okay, we got a Lotus Bloom. We don't have a Goblin and Giner. That's what we need to throw the Citadel in the grave. All we got is looting. I mean, we can crack an implement to gain two life, but... I would have to draw into a Bolasa Citadel, and that's gonna be a little bit difficult. But I'm gonna keep it because this hand looks pretty good in terms of mana. Yeah, dude, Tito Burrito, it was the most insane comeback ever. You missed it. You'll see it on YouTube. If you do watch the YouTube channel, you'll see it there. It was crazy. Could not believe we won that game, but we did. Alright, Swifty gets in. Okay, there's our Goblin and Giner. Perfect. So, suspend Lotus Bloom, play our Glimmer Void, play a Mox. And let's play a chromatic sphere and then pass. Oh, we need to land. Because I need to get down this goblin engineer next turn. Okay, suspend a rift bolt and lava spike. All right, I need to land. I need to land. I gotta get this. I can get down this trash for treasure on turn three if I draw a land for this goblin engineer. Please, please, deck, please, 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 please. Thank you. All right, so we got the land. Uh, play implement of improvement. Turn on metal craft. Play goblin engineer. Go fetch in. Throw Citadel into the grave. Now next turn we just trash our treasure and bring it back to life. And then that should be the game if we do see a weather storm. But if we get too low here, it could be a little bit dangerous. We're going to try. At least we get a chump block with Monastery Swift Spear to soak up a little bit of damage. They are going to Rift Bolt our face. 
Let's see if they have a Searing Blaze. Goblin Guide. Alright, I think uh, we're left with enough life as long as they don't have a Bolt. I feel like they're holding a Skewer since they... Oh, they would have Skewered firsthand. Oh, okay, they gave us a free Spire Bluff Canal. The front game was not the best of three. What are you talking about? You found me through YouTube? Oh, sweet. Thanks, Tito Burrito. And there is a bolt. It's the Anginer. Alright, so we take five down to six. Lotus Bloom without suspend. Alright, this is dangerous. So now we go one, two, three. Trash for treasure back Bolas of Citadel. Sacrificing a uh, chromatic sphere question mark or implement probably i mean implement can gain us life which might be more relevant or i could sack I, i'm gonna sack mox since i have no way to reanimate it yeah that makes sense all right there's a spire of industry so immediately that's a problem so we hit our land so spire faithless looting so cast faithless looting Discard a land, discard a land. <sighs> Alright, um... That's three life right there. That's very scary. I don't want to pay three life. I don't want to- I already hit my land though. But, I'm gonna have a floating mana which can crack the star. So yeah, I'm gonna cr I'm gonna pay white for this. Crack the implement of improvement. Draw past the trash for treasure there is another trash for treasure but at least i gained two life so now i can trash for treasure returning um maybe i screwed up maybe not return mox sacking chromatic sphere uh let's reshape the mox okay we're at one I need Weather the Storm on top. Grab... Oh, man. Yeah, grab Lotus Bloom. Goblin Engineer! Oh! Alright, how do I do this? How do I do this? So... See, I could Faithless Looting. I could Faithless Looting, but the problem with that... The problem with that is that I wouldn't have green mana. For weather the storm, I would I need to, I would need to hit a mox on top. So yeah, faithless looting. Okay, there is a mox on top. So discard, reshape, discard, trash for treasure. Play a mox. Play a lotus bloom. Oh please, weather the storm. Reshape. All right, we have two floating mana. We have two floating mana. So what can we do? I can. Okay, Mox can make mana too. So I can flash back Faithless Looting, try to draw into Weather the Storm, and then I can crack Lotus Bloom for green and cast Weather the Storm. Alright, what do you guys think I'd do here? Should I... Okay, I can tap Mox for, for red, flashback Looting, try to draw Weather the Storm, crack Lotus Bloom for green, play Weather the Storm. Cast and crack Star. But casting and cracking star, casting and cracking star would put me down a mana. Oh wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, I see. I see what Pure Stone's saying. Trash Master shuffles. Oh, uh, the engineer shuffles. Yeah, you're right. The Goblin engineer can shuffle. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's think about our options here. Let's think about our options. Hold on, guys, stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Engineer, Philip says engineer. Yeah, okay, so... We can do that line of play I said. Looting, try to draw the, the weather storm and play it. Or, we can play the star, crack it. We're gonna go down a mana. Um, but, we can crack the lotus bloom for green. We'll still have a red from the star, and then we can flash back looting. And we'll still have some green floating, and we should have exactly enough to cast Weather the Storm. 
And that digs us one deeper. That digs us one deeper. So that's probably the more optimal. But I also want to save the star to keep comboing off. But I'll gain enough life to where it'll be fine. Or, like Phil says, I can play Goblin Engineer. Shuffle. So I can get another try at the top of my library. But I would need to draw with the storm. Because I can't pay life to cast it with Citadel. I can't pay life to cast it with Citadel. Uh... So I would have to draw it. That's why I need to crack this star. Yeah, I need to crack this star. So I need to draw it via looting or star. So that guaranteed, I need looting or star for, for what I'm about to do here. Um, Yeah, I think I go with the play star and crack it play. I think pure stone's right. I think pure stone's right. I think pure stone's right here. So... Play star. Crack star for red. Please. Shiv and reef. Okay, so now what I do here is I gotta float first with, um, with mox opal. I gotta float first with mox opal, right? Um... Oh no, if I didn't discard trash for treasure, if I didn't discard for trash for treasure, this also would have been good. Because I would have been able to reanimate a, um, Aetherflux Reservoir. So, now I tap to add red. I could add blue, and then I could crack Lotus Bloom to reshape into another Lotus Bloom. But then that, that wouldn't leave me anywhere good. So I, ta I tap to crack this for green. I need to draw, yeah, I need to draw... Weather the storm here. Please. Please. Yes! Oh, we, got oh. we got the weather the storm. Oh. oh man. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Resolve all. Gain a billion life. We got there. Cast Chromatic Sphere. <laughs> and we fizzled. We fizzled. We fizzled, but we're not dead. We fizzled, but we're not dead. <laughs> Got there. Just barely. That is the, the god draw of my lifetime right there. That is the most miracle thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> Thank you, Pure Stone. Pure Stone chose the right play. <laughs> okay, so we're continuing to go off here. We got another Lotus Bloom. Uh, it's, I think it's coming down this turn. Yeah, this Lotus Bloom's coming down. And now we win. Now we win. <laughs> so play the Lotus Bloom. We got a mountain on top. We can't draw that, obviously. Oh, play the Lotus Bloom off the top. There's another Weather the Storm. Uh, cast Weather the Storm. Gain a bunch of life. Uh, yep. Okay, okay, okay. And now we win. <laughs> that was way too close. Can't believe it. Alright, so now crack this uh, star to draw past the land, add a red. It doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so we hit another land, so let's play Goblin Engineer to shuffle. Make sure we don't have to play lands off the top. Uh, we'll go searching for Aetherflux Reservoir. Now we throw Aetherflux Reservoir into the graveyard. So say yes, throw Aether Flux, play Chromatic Sphere, play, or tap, tap Mox for a blue, play a Mox, uh, keep this Mox, pay six life for Bolas's Citadel, doesn't matter which one we keep, play Chromatic Sphere, um, float a blue with this Chromatic Sphere to draw past that land, play a Goblin Engineer, uh, yes. Throw a redundant citadel on the grave. No, I didn't mean to play that Glimmer Void. No, I didn't mean to play that Glimmer Void. Alright, so... Uh, crack the star for blue. Uh, pay six life for the citadel. Keep this citadel. Um, tap mox for blue. 
Reshape the Mox. I didn't mean to play that land. Grab another Mox. Uh, Alright, crack for red here. Uh, flashback Faithless Loading. Make that land go away. Oh man, discard a land, discard a land. Play a Chromatic Sphere. Or Chromatic Star. Crack it for red, draw past that land. And what else we got? Um... Okay, there's another star. Play the star. There's the refurbish. There's the refurbish. So now we refurbish the Aetherflux Reservoir. Where is it? There it is. So refurbish the Aetherflux. Do we have another looting in the grave? We don't have any more lootings in the grave? Oh, we have a star to crack. So crack the star for red. Come on, give me a weather the storm. Implement of improvement. Gain a billion life. Oh no, are they skull cracking? No, man. No. All right, well, I have to fizzle here then. Yeah, I have to let them hit me and then I have to try to win next turn. I, I need to somehow gain up to 50. Do I have two more? I think I have two more Weather the Storms in, in the deck, right? Yeah, in the, bottom, in the bottom cards, I have two more Weather the Storms. So if our opponent doesn't kill us here, we should be able to... Uh, just win anyways, because they're in top deck mode, and I have two blockers. Alright, so they reveal Goblin Engineer. Chump block, chump block. We think- I think we drew every single land in the deck, so this is fine. Yeah, I can also use the Bolasa Citadel, also. Alright, let's see if they top decked another Skull Crack. They're in top deck mode. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna start paying mana for this, because I think that our life total is very relevant here. So Trash for Treasure is going to get back Implement of Improvement, because that can gain life, and I think we need to gain every bit of life possible. Wait, why do we pay life for that? Oh no, oh. Oh, it's on the top of our library, right. Well, I think I have to do that because I don't want to shuffle a Weather the Storm to the top. I do have an implement to crack, though. I do have an implement to crack. So, what am I supposed to do? This is going to be a tough one. Yeah, I don't want to pay too much life for that. I could very well screw this up, but I'm going to crack Implement of Improvement. Draw that. There's Weather the Storm. I don't want that yet. So first things first, let's play Goblin Engineer. Tap this for red. Goblin Engineer, shuffle that away for now. Alright, yes. Try to throw that Weather the Storm to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna say no. I want all my spells in my library, so I'm gonna say done. Refurbish. Refurbish. Alright, so... That's a lot of life, but I think I have to do it, so... Refurbish Implement of Improvement, right? There's a Weather the Storm. Gain some life, return to implement of improvement. There's Weather the Storm. I don't want to draw that. I don't want to play that yet. So crack implement of improvement. Draw Weather the Storm. There's Chromatic Sphere, or Chromatic Star. Play Chromatic Star. Okay. All right, we're going to go down to one card left. So, Faithless Looting. Uh, 
there's the last of our cards. Discard Spire Bluff, discard Spire Bluff. And now, we have to play everything here. So play Glimmer Void. I need to make green, I need to make green. I can trash for treasure, so... So I tap this for red? Okay, these two things need to make green. So tap this for red. Uh, trash for treasure back a... Uh, Lotus Bloom. Let's make sure I get the right one. Lotus Bloom. Sacrificing Mox. Gain some life. Yes. And now... Sack Lotus Bloom for green. And this, weather the storm. See if this is enough. I think it's enough. I think we barely got there. Alright, gain three. Gain three. Gain three. Gain three. Yep, I think we just barely got there. Zero cards in deck. Zero cards in deck. And gain three. Weather the storm? Yeets! We did it, boys. We did it. <laughs> Just barely. That timely skull crack from our opponent. That timely skull crack. Let's see if we end up on 69 life. Alright. Now, pay 50 life. Pay 50 life. If our opponent lets us- Please, opponent, don't concede! Let me shoot you in the face! <laughs> shoot our opponent for 50 damage. <laughs> End the game with 24 life, zero cards in deck, and we got there against Burn! I mean, they probably would have beat us too if they didn't do that salty concession in the first game. But man, that was a close one. Best comeback of my life, by the way. Got a game here against Atheist Santa. And yes, we are, are going to be on the draw. We got a Lotus Bloom to do on turn zero. Or on turn, yeah, on turn one. Glimmer Void and Mox with the Chromatic Sphere. If we get another land, Goblin Engineer throws the thing into our grave. And then we'll have the Lotus Bloom come off suspense. So we have white mana for refurbish. So I'm going to keep this and hope that we top deck a land. This could get there. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Our opponent has counter spells in their deck, so we're not going to get there. But we're going to try. <laughs> Alright, so play a Glimmer Void. Play a Mox. Play a Star. Suspend a Lotus Bloom and pass. Okay, we need to top deck a land to get Goblin and Giner to throw a Citadel in our grave. 74 life. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I agree. Oh no! Oh no, this destroys us! Uh oh. Why? The, the random Lavinia? Out of nowhere? Nobody plays this card. This destroys us. That literally counters Bolasa Citadel. Literally counters Bolasa Citadel. Because we, we're not spending mana to cast our spells. That literally destroys us. Do we have any way in the main board to kill this? I don't think so. <laughs> yep, I guess uh, Lavinia... Lavinia beats us! <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it. Alright, on to sideboarding. I guess we gotta bring in Pyroclasm for Lavinia. And, um... Cut... The Refurbishes... And a... Implement of Improvement? Run it like that. Yeah, the opponent stream sniped me. I think that's what they did. Joakovo's probably right. Yo, Joakovo, I think it's gotta be worth missing an SGDQ run for that game. That game was totally worth it. That, that game we had on the last round, that was nuts. Um, so yeah, I've been- I've been watching a lot of SGDQ, um, while editing videos this week. And, uh, I- I was really- I was looking- I watched, uh, Claris's, uh, Metroid Prime 2, I watched Justin DM's Metroid Prime 1, cause I- I always support Claris. Ever since, like, 2014 when I- when I heard about Miles. 
now is Claris. Always been a supporter. So, the homie Claris was there again this year, so that's pretty awesome. And, um, always, always looking forward to seeing Kirby runs. And so I was watching some Kirby, because Kirby's Crystal Shard was on today. And Kirby's Crystal Shard was one of my childhood games that that game was. I actually have it right here. If I can find the cartridge, it's right here in the drawer next to me. But Kirby's Crystal Shard was awesome. I really loved that Mort the Chicken run last night. That was hilarious. I loved the Glover run because Glover was also another big game that I played growing up. Yes, I'll be on the play. All right, we got a Bolas, a Citadel, and a Lotus Bloom. All we gotta do is find two more mana sources, but if we draw another land, uh, Reshape can crack our egg for another Lotus Bloom. So I'm gonna keep this. This should do it. So suspend Lotus Bloom, play a Spire Bluff, play a Chromatic Star. And now all we have to do is either find a Trash or Treasure, or we just reshape this star. Order Post. Okay. All right, Lotus Flim ticking down. That is not a land. Um. All right, well, I guess we crack the... You know what? Looting finds... Looting has potential to find more lands, right? Yeah. Yeah, loot. All right, there's our land. So discard another looting and a goblin engineer. Play a land, play a star. So now we got two star insurance. Two star insurance for, for when we go off. And now uh, we next turn we shape, then the next turn the other Lotus Bloom comes off a of suspend and we win. So we don't win next turn, but next next turn. So if our opponent doesn't have a Lavinia, we should be solid or else we'll have to find a dang... Um... Oh no, okay. That doesn't kill us because we're going to hard cast a reshape. So that's fine. That's fine. All right, so there's a mountain. Looks like we don't have to reshape anyways, so we can save it. Yeah, we can save a reshape. Actually, I want to save a star. You know what? Yeah, let's reshape. So reshape for zero. Cracking a star. Go looking for a citadel, or not a citadel, for a... Uh, a Lotus Bloom, play a Mountain and pass, and next turn we win. Um, we're not going to be able to reanimate Nathan Flux, but we'll have to find it naturally off of Citadel and hard cast it. That's the only way. And we could fizzle because we only have one star to crack. So we're going to need some good draws off the top here. Opponent, please, please don't play like a Thalia or a Lavinia, please. Dang it! Man, why? 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 I don't like this. And now this Lotus Bloom fizzles because I spent no mana on it. So it dies. There's another Citadel which I cannot play. <sighs> it doesn't even say creature spell, just anything. Alright, crack a star. Try to find a- Oh! That's right. When it's put into a grave- uh Man! <laughs> Dude, I, I don't think- yeah. There's no way. We just got shut down. We just got shut down there. Got a game here against Glorious Incident, or as we like to call them, Happy Little Accidents down here. Alright, yes, we get to be on the play. And that has no lands, so I will mulligan. Uh, oh, that is close. If we had just a single land, it would have been probably keepable. You know, if we scry into a land with this hand, that's not terrible. Because if we get a land... Okay, so if we keep the zero lander, we draw a land, uh, we can slowly but surely get the mox online, play a goblet engineer to throw a bolas citadel in the grave, and then eventually reanimate it. This looks like a turn 5 go off if everything goes correctly. So I think it's just not good enough. Got a mull again. That's terrible. Alright, I guess we're keeping that one. Trash for treasure. 
to the bottom. All right, I don't think I want to reveal anything. I just, I want to see, I want to see what the opponent's on. And then I'll concede. Because there's no way we're winning this with this mold of four. We can do this. All it takes is some good openers. This deck, we, like, there's an argument for probably waiting on it until Core 2020 comes out. Because we're also getting the London Mulligan. And, um... Like, that would help this deck out a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, there's an argument for waiting. Okay, they're on traditional Tron. They're on traditional Tron. Wait, let's actually wait a second and see if they're on blue Tron. See if we need to bring in defense grids. Alright, you know what? We drew a land. So, maybe I should play a land. I'm gonna start on mountain. I, I don't want to reveal too much information. But I feel like if I bring in Mountain, that they're going to bring in Nature's Claim, which I don't want them to do. Yeah, I'm going to start on Spire Bluff Canal. Because if I if I just play basic, like, snowy looking Mountain, they're probably going to think I have Blood Moon. And so, they're probably going to bring in Nature's Claim. I don't want them to bring in Nature's Claim, so... I just want to see if they're Blue Tron. Alright, another land. Also, I don't want to play Goblin Engineer throwing Bolas of Citadel in my grave just yet because I don't want them to think I am on um whatchamacallit I don't want them to think that I'm a graveyard deck I want them to take I want them to cut their relics is what I'm trying to say they had natural tron I'm just going to concede so it doesn't look like they're blue tron because they're playing chromatic sphere I think they're they're green Tron. So on to sideboarding. Uh, I think we just leave it the same and try to go off quicker. What's up, Dracovo? Yeah, the S the SGDQ stream's going on. I've been watching that all weekend. Man. Alright, yes, I'll be on the play. It's alright, Dracovo. If you want to go watch that, that's fine. I don't blame you. I want to watch it too. And right when the stream's over, I'm gonna go watch it. All right, this hand has a Lotus Bloom, so all we need to do is top deck a Citadel. I'm gonna keep that. We just gotta hope to top deck well. Opponent's mulliganing down to six, but their their mulligans don't matter. They're mulliganing to four, three. Okay, they're giving us a chance here. They mold to zero. They mold to zero. Okay. They can see. They don't want to see what we're on either. All right. Well, I guess. We have a chance, boys. We have a chance. We're going to game three. We're going to game three. We didn't- we both did nothing. And we're already going on to game three. Blue Tron isn't the worst. Blue Tron, in my opinion, is better than Green Tron. Green Tron's not good. Um, also, you're gonna be here for a little bit. Is there a fun type of Tron? Um, I would say probably... I don't know. I don't know if there is a fun variant of Tron. I want to say Trading Post Tron, but I, I haven't really tried to build that yet, which is why we haven't played it on the channel. But if we ever found a good build for Trading Post Tron, I would be happy to try it out. I want to wait until we get some new pieces for it, though. Ooh! Oh, wait! Oh, that's, that's the combo! That's the combo! All we need is an egg. All we need is an egg. I'm keeping this. We need, we need an artifact to play. Because we need to get color off of the Spire of Industry, loot away our Bolas of Citadel, and trash for treasure it back and win. So please, any artifact, deck, please, I can't add mana. I can't add mana. I need any artifact, any egg, a mox, something, and just don't be a lotus bloom. <laughs> this is our this is our game to win here. And don't play a relic of prog either. Sylvan's crying. Alright, don't get off turn four, Ugin, please. Actually, Ugin's fine. Ugin doesn't actually affect us deck give me an egg that's a lotus bloom all right that means in three turns i can probably hard cast my citadel come on man don't do me like this deck just give me an egg deck list oh dude i think i forgot to put the deck list no i think it's there yeah you can just exclamation point deck is that is that correct let me know if the if the link worked pure pure seal pure stone i think i put the i up, updated the deck list link pretty sure i did all 
All right, tick down, Lotus Bloom. It's correct? All right, cool. Spire of Industry. All right, we have the mana to hard cast, but we're not getting colors. <laughs> Any artifact would give us colors. All right, if opponent does not kill us in two turns, two turns, we win. Okay, they have Tron. What's coming? Just be Ugin. Crucible. Sure. I don't care about that. Just don't be Karn. As long as they don't have Karn and exile our lands, we're good. Alright. Alright, one more turn. One more turn. Lotus Bloom's going to one. Refurbish. Alright, pass turn. Ooh, I'm so scared. Don't have Ulamog, please. Don't have Ulamog, please. Don't have another Tron land into Ulamog. That's exactly what they would need to beat us here. Slova's crying. That doesn't do it. Oh, I think we got there. All right, let's hope to not fizzle because we have no eggs to crack. So we're in a very dangerous situation here. If we have, yeah, we have no eggs to crack. So literally that's it. If we hit two lands in a row, we're dead. Because at this point, usually we're supposed to have eggs out, but we didn't get any mana. Alright, let's see how we do here. They got access to six. They're passing. They're passing. Alright. Lotus Bloom. Off of Suspend. Cast it. Go to draw. Okay, there's a land. So, crack for black. Bolas is Citadel. Alright, here we go, boys. Here we go. Alright, so... Chromatic Star. Pay 2 life. Weather the Storm. Gain 9 life. Oh, what are they doing? What are they doing? No! Don't have Nature's Claim or Return to Nature. Please. No! They had Return to Nature! I knew it! Alright, I'm casting this. Gain a bunch of life. Now I have colored mana. Now I have colored mana. Okay, I can get out... Next turn, yeah, next turn I can get out another... Another... Um... Citadel. Because I have Trash or Treasure next turn, so... Play Shivan Reef. Uh... Loot. So I should ditch another Citadel, so ditch a Citadel and ditch a... Uh... Refurbish. Pass the turn. Alright, next turn I Trash for Treasure back a Citadel and keep going off. And now I have my colors, and I have enough life to spare. So no Ulamog. We almost had it. Okay, opponent's thinking. Opponent's thinking. Maybe they don't have an Ulamog. Tower. Yep, they definitely have an Ulamog. Or is it a Ballista? It's an Ulamog. Dang it. Okay, I need to top deck a land here. I need to top deck a land. I can still win if I top deck a land. Alright. There's still hope, guys. Come on, please. Please. Right here. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we got it. We got it. Because I go blue, blue. I reshape for zero. Sacrificing chrome mox. Or sacrificing the... Uh, the Chromatic Star. I draw a card. Oh, I have to have a thing to sack. I have to have an artifact to sack. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't have any artifacts to sack. Well, I get a Lotus Bloom. And I can trash for treasure, but as an additional cost, I have to sack an artifact, which I don't have any. So how do I do this? Dang it. 
Uh, I have to pass. I have to pass. If they if they swing with Ulamog, and we lose our Aether Flux Reservoir, we die. We lose if they hit our Aether Flux Reservoir off this Ulamog swing. Dang, opponent just had to be lame, didn't they? Did they hit our reservoir? They did not hit our reservoir. They did not hit it. All right. All right, we're alive. We live in. It's pronounced Udamog. Yeah, egg for the win. Egg is our win con here. We need to top deck a one mana egg. Or a mox. And, oh, that's a one mana egg. All right, play the egg. Now, we crack this for red. Trash for treasure, returning Bolas to Citadel, sack an egg. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Chromatic star. Uh, that is a land. I don't want to hit land, so let's crack the star for... for... blue? I could do red. No, I'm doing- I'm doing red, because I have looting in hand. I think that's more important. So, crack for red, draw past the land, cast looting. Alright, draw two cards, discard, uh, Bolas of Citadel, and... Do I have another Goblin Engineer in here? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Discard Goblin Engineer. It doesn't matter. Alright, um, let's play Chromatic Star. Play Chromatic Star. There's an Aether Flux. I think we did it. Cast Aether Flux. Now, cast Goblin Engineer. Oh, I think we got it. Yeah. Gain life. What's our storm count? Our storm count's eight. Yeah, we just play a mox, and then we weather the storm, and we get enough life. I think. So what's uh, three times nine is... 27. Let's go a little bit more just to be safe. So yes. Let's sit it all into the grave. Uh, let's... Crack this chromatic sphere for red. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Crack this chromatic sphere for red. Faithless looting. There's weather the storm. And we got there. I can't believe it. We survived through an Ulamog swing. <laughs> this is great. Alright, but we do have to loot past it, but we'll just play a mox. Play a mox. Gain some life. Tap for a green. Weather the storm. <laughs> Gain a trillion life. Shoot him for 50 damage. All it takes is a Bolas Citadel for this deck to win. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> Weather the Storm. Everybody memed this card, saying this card sucks. And look at that. Winning games with it in Modern. <laughs> Taking down Mono Green Tron. That was a very weird match, but we got there. Got a game here against Andre8796, and we are on the draw with Bolas's Trash Cannon. And uh, this hand does nothing, so we have to mulligan. This hand has citadels, but no way to get them. Uh, so I think I have to mulligan again? Question mark? I have a chromatic star and a mox. I can get the mox online with one more artifact, but I might, I might have to crack that artifact to find a looting. Yeah, I'm gonna mull. Alright, well, we have a lotus bloom. I'm gonna keep this. Because if I can find one land to get on an egg, I can loot and discard Citadel and then use the mana off Lotus Bloom to trash her treasure. So I'm going to keep this. Uh, there's a Mox. 
Uh, I think Mox does it. Yeah, I'll keep Mox on top. So I'm not going to play anything until turn three. But on turn three, I should win still. Yeah, turn three, that's uh, that should be lethal. Actually, no, it's turn four. So I got to survive to turn four, which is the problem here. So suspend and pass. Memories of Kaladesh. Yeah, pretty much with the uh, whole Aether Flux paradoxical outcome combo. Like, they still do... They still do Paradoxical Storm in Vintage. Mox Mox Storm win. Magic at its finest. You want to see the total? Okay, we might not have enough to pay with uh, Bolasa Citadel to actually combo off because we're going to be pretty low. So we have to hit a Weather the Storm right after getting off Bolasa Citadel. There's Weather the Storm. Alright, past turn. Alright, is Mox coming off next turn? Nope, next, next turn. Alright, let's see if our opponent has more Bushwhackers. I gotta hit a land to be able to- I can go off next turn if I hit a land. I can go off if I hit a land. Oh wait. Oh, Mox doesn't come off this turn. Yeah, I die. Alright. That was a rough one against goblins, but in the sideboard, we do have three copies of Pyroclasm. And Pyroclasm helps a lot here. Um, so definitely bring in Pyroclasm. Opponent does not know what we're on. All we did was suspend a Lotus Bloom and then do nothing. Um, so Pyroclasm helps. So we're gonna cut Refurbishes. Let's go for Trash for Treasure. And let's cut one, uh, Chromatic Sphere, or Implement of Improvement, probably like that. I might be too slow. Yeah, this deck goes off on turn three or four or never, so I think that's a good, that's a good enough. Alright, we got a Mox, we got an enabled Mox, we got a Pyroclasm, but I really have nothing to do with this hand. Like, I don't have any way to, like, pitch a Citadel in the grave or cast a Citadel, really, so. While this hand looks fine, I don't think it actually does it. Okay, we got a Trash or Treasure and a Citadel, but we don't really have mana, is the problem. So I'm gonna mull again. Alright, so this hand works, let's keep that. There's a Chromatic Star, I'll keep that. Alright, cool. So, I need to top deck another land. And this is a turn 4 win. This is turn 4. So, opponent's going to attack and reveal the Chromatic Star. But what I can do is uh, reshape the Chromatic Star into a uh, Lotus Bloom. And when I do that, um, I'll have 5 mana. So when I top deck a land, I'll have 6. And I'll be able to hard cast Bolas of Citadel. So... Hopefully our opponent doesn't kill us in two swings here. Because if they don't kill us in two swings, we should have it. And we go if we top deck a land. Alright, can they give us a free spire? There's the land we needed. Pile driver. Ooh, there's a mox. Okay, so let's see. There's gotta be another way to do this. Um so mox is not active i reshape the chromatic star into a lotus bloom yeah i guess that's what i'm doing if they have a bushwhacker i likely die but if they don't have a bushwhacker i win or i could win if, if i don't hit a weather storm i would lose but i could win in theory uh to save life i i could save one life let's see if they bushwhack I know they're gonna bushwhack. They got eight bushwhackers in their deck. I think I gotta do this. Do I want to keep the mocks? I think I have to for safety reasons. All right, reshape for zero. Uh, sacking the star, draw a crad. Uh, go looting for a lotus bloom. Pass the turn. All right, now next turn I citadel. Next turn I citadel. Opponent, what do you have? Do you have a bushwhacker? Or do you have one drop plus bushwhacker and the third land? 
Mox Opal budget. Um, is this the new zombie hunt type budget deck? What are you talking about? Could be 16 lands. No, doesn't zombie hunt run 55 lands or something like that? We got a chromatic sphere on top. Oh, they didn't. They didn't have a thing. They didn't have a thing. Do they have two bolts? Because two bolts could kill us. Need weather the storm. Now, since we don't have any eggs to crack, we could die. Oh no! Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no! Ah. Uh, well, I need. Oh wait. Oh, I don't have a way to- yeah, I, I gotta have a way to pitch this to my graveyard to trash or treasure it back, but I could have done it. Um, because I have the mocks and then I would just trash or treasure, but this needs to be in my graveyard. I have Goblin Engineer to put one in my graveyard. I mean, technically we're not dead yet, but our opponent's got a lot of cards. Likely we're gonna die, but I guess I'll play it out and see what happens. So we're gonna play a Mox. Um, let's play a Chromatic Sphere. And then play a Goblin Enginer. And we are going to go tutoring for another Citadel. And throw it into our graveyard. And we're going to pass a turn. Leave up a chump block. So in theory we live. But likely we're dead. Let's see if our opponent just has the world's worst hand. Goblin Chieftain. I mean, we're still alive. If our opponent has a bolt or a goblin grenade, we die, but we're technically still alive. <sighs> Alright, and I also need my top deck to be Weather the Storm too, so it's asking a lot. And that is a goblin grenade or a bolt. It is. Alright, cool. A little bit too slow for that one, but we almost got there. Yo, what up guys? Post-production Baron here with your typical per video speed up session. Usually we speed up the longest game in the video and this was the longest game by a long shot. It was over twice as long as the second longest game. It was about a 41 minute game and we sped it up 10 times speed. So as you can imagine, it's a four minute speed up session. And as I always say, if you don't like sped up games and you wanna see all the games unedited and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and watch the entire VOD there. So we end up going up against a black blue deck that goes turn two zombie hunt. And so immediately we think, okay, there are 55 land treasure hunt. But turns out they discard a couple blood ghasts and a couple fate stitchers. I'm like, what is going on here? Now this is the point right here where it's a reason why this was the longest match because opponent was going AFK for long periods of time such as this. They were tanking really hard. It didn't, it didn't seem like they are AFK because they are tapping and untapping. And uh, so after they come back... So they came back for a second there, they leave again. We're just chilling in the chat talking about music for a while. And uh, they come back and they finally tap out for a Mesmeric Orb, as you can see here. And then what they do next is they unearth the Fate Stitcher, untap a land, tap that land for another Fate Stitcher, and now they infinitely, one Fate Stitcher untaps the other, the other one untaps the other, they infinitely untap each other. Mesmeric Orb says that whenever a player untaps the permanent, they mill a card for each permanent untapped. So they just get to mill their entire library here. We get to see what they're up to. So their plan is to just get back a bunch of blood ghasts here, which will then get back a bunch of prize amalgams and they're able to get back Hogak. So they're just a different variant of Hogak. Uh, they're able to not kill us here and we're able to just like combo off with our Bolas of Citadel shenanigans and win this game. But that's a very far-fetched and ambitious combo for them to go for in their deck. Because not only do you have to resolve the Mesmeric Orb, but then you have to get two Fate Stitchers. Can't believe they even got it off against us. Um, but it didn't end up getting there. If they had Venge Vines, they would have got there. But they didn't get there. But that's a really interesting take on the Hogak deck. I still think that the Black Red Bridge version is way better. Because it's a lot more aggressive. And I think with that deck, you want to be aggressive. And that version seemed really inconsistent, but it seemed to go off there pretty decently. All it takes is a god draw. Uh, so we go on to the next game. And uh, it's we almost get there. We almost get there. We have to mulligan a bunch, and uh, they get double Shriekhorn, go and start milling themselves. We see that their deck is also just like Glimpse the Unthinkable and uh, Breaking and Entering themselves. So we get a bunch of mana in this game. So we get our Lotus Bloom, we get our, our Mox going, and we're just repeatedly cracking eggs. Because all we need to do is top deck Bolas of Citadel to hardcast it, because we have the mana to hardcast it. 
and then go off. So all we do is draw trash for treasures, keep returning eggs back to the play and just like sacking them to try to find a citadel. We have to take this next, they got the Hogak back, so we have to take this next turn off to gain some life. So we like get back an egg and crack it and weather the storm to gain a bit of life here. Uh, then like all we need to do now is just top deck the Bolasa Citadel. We go down to nothing but three lands or four lands in a Lotus and didn't get it. We go to the next game. We cut the Knee Hill Spell Bombs. Now you can argue that I should have kept them in, but being on the play for game three, I wanted to be as consistent as possible. So I brought back in our combo cards to be as consistent as I could. So if that's wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but we go into the next game. And we get a pretty decent start because we got the Goblin Engineer to toss the Bolasa Citadel in the grave and we have the Trash for Treasure to reanimate it on turn three, which we do. So we get the turn three Trash for Treasure and what they do is they archive trap us and mind break trap us while we're trying to go off, trying to disrupt us. And even through two traps, we're able to get there. So that's super awesome. This deck is like... It's crazy that all you really need to do is get a Bolasa Citadel and play to win the game. And even though our opponent tries to disrupt us, we still get there. So GG to Hogak. That was a very interesting take on the deck. Really creative. But we got there. Let's go into the next one. Got a game here against Fenrir18. We played against him in uh, Monday's video, right? I think we did. All right, we were playing some Bolasa's Trash Cannon, and we have a way to get... To get um whatchamacallit in the grave we have a lot of looting here we have no reanimation but we do have reshape which can potentially allow us to hard cast a citadel if we find one a lot of looting can help us find a trash for treasure so i'm gonna keep this in hope so we gotta find a trash for treasure or a refurbish and reshape is gonna help us hard cast um, a refurbish. Okay, so we're going up against Hardened Scales Affinity. So this should be a slow enough matchup to let us go off. Alright, so. Draw. There's a Citadel. Alright, so what are we doing here? Um. I guess we're looting. There's a Trash for Treasure. All right, throw away Citadel and throw away a uh, Goblin Engineer, right? Yeah, throw away Goblin Engineer and just pass a turn. And next turn, we have to find a land to reshape into a Lotus Bloom. Oh, but we need a we need an egg to crack. Yeah, we need an egg to crack. Okay, so we just gotta hit our land drops. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta hit our land drops. There's a hanger back walker. All right, that's a very slow clock. So I'm feeling good so far that it wasn't a steel overseer. All right, we should be able to get this one, guys. We should be able to get this one. There's a spire bluff. That's a good start. So, looting. Yeah, we loot. There's another mox. All right, discard a reshape and a weather the storm. Uh, and yeah, I have to find another land. So faithless looting. Okay, there's a land. Discard weather the storm. Discard reshape. No, reshape isn't potential egg. So discard a mox and pass the turn. Now next turn we get back a citadel. Yeah. All right, next turn we get back a citadel. But we're going to have to play a land, which means that we're not going to be able to play a land off the top of Citadel if we need to. So we're going to have to get a good run of luck here. But we'll have a second turn to go off because I don't think our opponent's going to kill us in two turns unless we don't find Weather the Storm. All right. In fact, that could be scary. All right. So opponent's going all in on the Ink Moth Nexus trying to kill us this turn. Yeah, opponent's going all in on the Ink Moth here. I understand that play because we likely don't have a way to deal with it. So opponent's making the right decision here. So we have to win now, basically. All right, opponent is a smart player. All right, I must hit a Lotus Bloom. Play a Spire, play a Mox. 
Trash for treasure. Return citadel. Sacking Mox. And now we try to go off. Please no land. Please no land. If it's a land, we die. Okay, there's a star. I need a source of mana. Okay, that's a source of mana. Um, But I have to sack a, an egg. But that's not really a source of mana because I don't have metal craft. So this is scary. So return a Mox. Sacking a star. Okay, thank goodness I'm drawing past that land. Thank goodness. Oh, it's another land. And I don't have... Oh, uh, yeah. We fizzled. We fizzled. Yeah, I needed I needed there to not be I needed there to be an artifact on top so that I can get metal craft. <sighs> and then an opponent just hits us with infect. So we almost got there. We almost got there. So they're gonna have nature's claims. So this is a match where I need to bring in welding jar. Let's bring in welding jar. Cut refurbish. And one implement. Yeah, one implement. I mean, they're not too aggressive, so I could just cut one weather the storm. That makes sense. Since they're not going to be, like, aggroing us. I mean, they could get the nut draw, but we're on the play. So I'm just going to do three weather the storms. I'd rather keep my eggs. Bruh, this is nuts. Alright, so yes, we would like to play first. Alright, alright, nice. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. I would like to find a, a welding jar, but I can hard cast a, a citadel uh, once these lotus limbs come off, off of suspend. So that's that's the play here. How come you don't do a league? That's the most common question I get. The reason I don't do a league is because people in leagues typically play the same tier spike decks all the time. So if I played a league right now, like if I literally queued up a league right now, I would likely run into nothing but like Tron Storm and, and Hogak Bridgevine and like Thopter were and just like decks that are trying to win. Um, so I, I go in the two-man queues because you can play against like more fringe decks and fellow brewers and and get a wider variety of matchups. Whereas in a league... You know, you're kind of restricted as to what you can do. Also, we typically play more than five games, but sometimes less than ten games. So, in like, when I'm doing two man queues, I can just play as many games as I want. Alright, there's the Goblin. Which I don't really need right now, but it is a chump blocker. Alright, so, opponent's gonna go all in on this, uh, this Ink Moth again. Well, that's fine. Alright, yes. Throw a pointless citadel into the grave. It's redundancy, so just get it out of the deck. Once you already have what you need, you don't gotta fetch anything fancy. But I could have thrown like a lotus bloom in the grave and then next turn paid a red and sacked like a star to return a lotus bloom. And that would have been a good play, but I don't know. Maybe we don't need it. It was worth the shot, though, but I'd rather use this as a chump blocker. Ballista, sure. Yeah, so they can go all in on an Ink Moth here, again. Alright, they are doing it. Oh wait, can they kill us here? Oh no, they can kill us here. That's so lame. We had it next turn two. See, I guess I guess turn three combos are too slow for modern now. Modern is just getting very fast. What was that a turn three kill? And we didn't untap for our turn three yet? So literally that was our turn two and we died. So I guess turn three combos are not quick enough for modern anymore. Modern has just become legacy. And that's another thing that a lot of people are arguing now, is that Modern is just turning into Legacy. And I feel like it's Wizard's scheme to try to start a new format and kill Legacy off, if I'm being honest. It'll also um, deflate the, pr the prices of the Legacy lands. So I think that's what's going on here. 
Okay, so Bolas' trash cannon, we ended up with a total of five, five wins. We got a total of three wins. Now, the deck was really awesome and a lot of fun, and I think that's what matters here. Um, although this was the first iteration of the deck, honestly, in the sideboard, I know what you all wondering, why is this not Nature's Claim? There was a reason why it wasn't, but I forgot the reason, so... It's up to you to figure that one out. Anyways, the deck was a ton of fun. It's it's so f when you get off Bolas of Citadel, it's just so fun to just go off. It's like one of my favorite things to do in Magic is draw a million cards in one turn and just keep like like storming off. Like I'm a sucker for storming off, even though I don't like the deck storm because it's a mainstream way to storm off. <laughs> but in a deck like this, very under the ground. This is basically the modern legal KCI at the moment. And it's a lot. It's like, I encourage you to try this deck out. Maybe at your LGS, your local, like your FNM. If you already happen to own the Moxes, then the rest of the deck is dirt cheap. Like, Citadels are down to three bucks. Aether Flux is like eight bucks and there's only one. Goblin Engineers, I don't know how much those cost, but like just eggs, looting. I think uh, Chromatic Stars are like eight bucks. Reshapes are like a dollar, I think. Lotus Blooms are like um, three dollars. Glimmer Void, honestly, is probably the most expensive thing. Besides, like, if you already have a place that Moxes, Glimmer Void is probably the next most expensive thing. I think it's like twelve dollars. Um, but yeah, the deck is relatively affordable, and it's a ton of fun. So, in terms of a good deck, now that's debatable. The deck obviously had a decent record, but it wasn't an amazing record by any means. Um, however, like I said, this was the first iteration of it. So if you can figure out a way to make this deck a lot more consistent, then by all means, feel free to share your ideas in the comments down below. But the deck has a lot of ways to go off. Like, like I said, suspend a turn zero Lotus Bloom, hard cast the thing on turn three, if you have that. Or you have this, you have a reshape, you just reshape any artifact into a Lotus Bloom, cast the thing on turn four. Or if you have Faithless Looting plus Citadel, and then you've got to have either a Trash or Treasure or Refurbish, you go off. You got Goblin Engineer plus uh, Trash or Treasure Refurbish. It's literally this right here. This right here is two cards. Two card combo. Goblin Engineer, Trash or Treasure, or Refurbish. Like literally six pieces here, four pieces here. You just got to have one of each. So easy to assemble. But today the deck proved that um, it's not that easy. It, it seems easy, but the London Mulligan is what's going to help this deck a lot. London Mulligan is really, really, really what this deck wants. And when London Mulligan becomes a thing, then I think this deck is actually going to be pretty good. Like, three wins this time, but with London Mulligan, we can probably get, like, five wins. Because, like, getting a free seven-card draw... Because, like, we found today that when this deck moles past six down to five, there's no chance. Once you go to five and beyond, there's no chance of getting any keepable hands. Um, so I think you want the seven card hands. So London Mulligan is going to help out a lot because then it'll allow you to mull down to five. And mulliganing won't be as much of a hindrance. Now this deck moles terribly. When you mulligan once with this deck, it's over. But London Mulligan will, pro will solve that problem. Um, I think 16 lands is totally fine. Because we really don't want to hit them when we're comboing off. So I think uh, I think that was fine. Uh, maybe there could be some more eggs. Maybe there can be one less reshape. I like the playset of Weather of the Storm. Because it feels like all the time we were just hoping for... Please give me Weather of the Storm off the top. Like we were really hoping for that in many scenarios. Like we ran into Burn three times today. And I might not have included them all in the video. So if you wanted to go check out the entire stream. The Twitch link is down below in the description. You can watch the entire VOD there. Um, but yeah, had a lot of fun. Let me know what you think about this deck in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new for the jankiest of gameplay every other day. Thank you very much to Jace Parker for submitting today's deck. And if you wanted to submit a deck of your own as well, uh, you can do so in the comments down below. Or email it to me or DM me on social media. Anywhere you can see your comment and you might just see your deck played on a future episode of Fan Fridays. Thank you very much to all my sponsors and all my patrons. I love you all. And I'm gonna get it out of here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.